Oh, that hurts a lot. Hey beauty warriors, welcome to Battle Tested Beauty. Today's video is going to be a review of the Tati Beauty Blendiful and the Baby Blendiful for oily, large pores, and maturing skin. So if that's what you got, or if you're interested in finding out about oily, maturing, pory skin, I guess, come on down. So I finally got this up into Canada. I've been reviewing it for about two weeks now, I suppose. It was expensive. It took a long time to get here, but it's finally here. And I wanted to test it out on my oily, large poured skin with fine lines and see how it goes. You guys see the process of making this face with the blendful? Stick around. Okay, so let's get right into it. I've already done my eyes and eyebrows, obviously, so we don't need to worry about that. It's not the, it's not a job for the blend of full. So anyways, so let's start, uh, I'm gonna put, just put some primer down really, really quickly. I know what I said in previous videos about not liking primer, but I am really digging this Tarte base tape. I like it a lot. And I'm also really into this Farsali liquid powder. So I'm gonna put the liquid powder just on my T-zone shake that up this stuff is wild this stuff is really really wild it's very very expensive though it was like 70 dollars canadian and that's just unreasonable but if you leave it like i left a drop accidentally <laughs> on my my table while after i was getting ready and it apologies for noises too by the way so i left a drop on my table while i was getting ready and it literally turns into powder like it turns into a white powder so i'm just gonna put that everywhere that i'm really greasy because as we uh oops as we've already talked about, this is a video about the Blendiful on greasy skin. So I'm at least going to help it along. The Farsali really does work. I guess it's kind of like powdering before you put your foundation on. And then I'm just going to put the base tape out on the outskirts of my face. This is great all over the face as well too, even if you're oily. I really, really like it. Okay, so while my primer is set in, let me tell you a little about my experience with the Blendiful so far. So as you guys know, I'm in Canada. I have to pay exchange, shipping, duties, all that jam, right? So uh, $18 in America. To get it to Canada though, it cost me $37. And I actually really appreciate that Tati included the customs and duties in the shipping price that I paid right at cash out. So I really appreciate that. Costly, for sure, you get the big blendiful and you get the baby blendiful. I actually was really excited about the baby blendiful. That was the whole reason that I bought it because I wanted to use it as a blotter. It actually kind of sucks as a blotter. It doesn't do anything. It does take your makeup off, especially if it's already kind of vulnerable and you're greasy and everything like that. And you go in with this because it's a little like rough. So uh, I actually don't really have much use for this. I really don't know what the hell it's good for. Um, I'm going to keep trying to use it. I say that, but I actually just put it somewhere and I just forget it all the time. But it's not very good at putting on powder or anything. It's not very good at putting on liquids either because it's like kind of, I don't know, it's like a little rough. I don't know. I'll keep trying to use it. The Big Blendiful. This is a nice product. I don't hate it. One thing I really need you to understand is you are not to use this with double wear. Don't use this with Estee Lauder double wear. And if you do use double wear, wash it immediately. Cause I have washed this like 10 times now trying to get the double wear out. And I had used it a few times with double wear and I didn't wash it right away. And it just will never come out again. I can't get the double wear out. So uh, noted. People have said that they've got ripping issues. I have no problems. Mine is holding up wonderfully. Although I do find that the texture, it feels like it's like a worn out old stuffed animal at this point. I don't know about that. But anyways, I think my, uh, my primers are all in as good as they're gonna get. Okay, so I've got oily skin and I've had oily skin my whole life. As a result of having oily skin your whole darn life, you wind up with some pretty big pores. Pretty big pores make application of skin makeup pretty crappy, right? So I typically don't like using tools like this. I don't like using brushes. I prefer to use a beauty blender and I find it the most natural looking as I find anything that presses against the skin, drags it and grinds stuff in, Some, which I think the beauty blender does, but it seems to work okay. But anyways, tools tend to drive makeup products into my pores and then I'm left with all these like pale dots all over my skin and there's nothing I can do about it. I can't get it out and it's the worst and I have to start over. I hate it. If you have any tricks to be able to like deal with that when it happens, let me know because I hate it. I hate it. it happens on my nose. It happens on my cheeks here really bad. I just 
I've had a few problems with the Tati Bandiful uh, in this respect. You have to be really, really careful with it. So I'm going to go in with some Too Faced Born This Way in the color Natural Beige. It's not quite my color, but it'll do. So I'm just gonna put that on my, I'm gonna put two pumps on there, which is more than you need. Okay, so they also say that you need less product with this. I didn't find that to be the case. Like Tati says you're supposed to like dip it and like drag it on your face. I haven't actually tried that yet, so let's, let's do that. So I'm just gonna dip it and drag it. Like I said earlier about um, about product is maybe I should just try. Oh my god. Yeah, dragging like this typically doesn't go so good for me and that's what grinds stuff into my pores. So I totally drag way too much on that other one down. Did I just say that uh, you need or you need more? Because I think I was lying. My coverage is wild right now. You see, this doesn't look very natural to me. Maybe I'm just doing something wrong, but... Mm -hmm. Okay, so on areas like this, I can buff. And that helps make it a little bit more natural. Like down my neck, I can definitely do that. But, I'm, but it never looks very good if I do it here. <laughs> Somebody's like routering something and it's really loud and I'm very, very sorry. So it appears to be going in really nicely and I think that has a lot to do with my uh, with my priming that I just did. It's notable that I have larger pores on this side of my cheeks and they're full. They're all full up and I can't, I can't fix it. You'd think that the longer little hairy things, like the, the texture of this would help like dig it out. But it really doesn't. It just kind of makes it worse. So I'm just gonna <laughs> maybe cover over a little bit more. On a side note, I don't know how I feel about that foundation. The NYX Born This Way foundation. It's like, kind of makes my skin look old. You know, like around my lips and like around here. I'm like excessively tired today, by the way, guys. So like, sorry if I just look extra crony, haggish. But So I put two pumps on my, my little palette thing here. It looks like there's about one pump left. So it took about a pump to do my lower half of my face. I'm certainly not going to use up a full pump for my forehead. I think I prefer applying with my fingers from uh, from previous uses. I think my, my feels is, my fingers is better. Oh, also I don't like wiping it up here. I find that wiping up here just looks like crap and doesn't matter what foundation I've used. Wiping right at my temples didn't look good. But maybe I'm just like, ugh, maybe I'm just using too much, I don't know. I typically don't go for full coverage, anything. You know, like I usually thin out my stuff. I'm gonna try and like build up a little bit of coverage right there too. Be gone, I've had some uh, breakouts lately. Quite a few, I'm kind of stressed out. You'll notice that I didn't film for a very long time. I haven't uploaded anything. And not that I didn't, I did film. I just haven't had time to edit and like film and like really cohesively put my ideas together. And I just don't want to upload crap. So I'm just kind of buried under a lot of, a lot of work right now that has nothing to do with uploading YouTube videos. And I feel kind of bad about it. You can like really see that this is not quite right color for me on my neck, whatever. Okay, so I used two full pumps, and I don't think I got like heavy coverage or anything like that out of it either. So I don't, I don't know about it like saving you product and needing to use less product or anything. One thing I do like about it though is applying cream contour. I don't normally apply cream contour just because it's like difficult. So I have these ABH stick foundations. I have one in Mink and I have one, another one in Fawn. I think Mink is a little too dark for me. Fawn is a little too light, so I might mix the two together. I'm so sorry about the noise. It's like a router or something. I don't know what the frick people are doing today. I should probably conceal before I contour, right? That would make some fucking sense. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Armani Power Fabric Concealer. And I'm just gonna zhuzh up those spots there, as well as a few discolored areas. And we'll see how the Blendiful goes for that one. 
Okay, so I'm gonna take a cleaner corner. I don't know, it's maybe better with a finger. Well, see, the nose is a problem a lot of the times. If I'm trying to like dab things on there, like I don't like using a blender on my nose, for instance. But this is going okay. I think I should get a lighter shade in that um, power fabric. I think that was 5.5. Okay, this, so there's the problems again. I'm seeing... See, it's like driving it into my nose. I don't know if you can see it. This is always a problem if you have larger pores that your stuff's gonna get in there. Um, maybe I could have used a different primer on my nose, but I don't like using primer on my nose either. Like, I didn't mind liquid powder on my nose, the Farsali, but uh, just because it's so light, but for the most part, I typically don't like primer on my nose because I find it just slides off anyways. Okay, so I don't like concealing under my eyes all that much. The power fabric is really beautiful for that. I'm just gonna give her a go. Just for shits and giggles. I find if I put stuff under my eyes, it just makes my eyes look older. Let's use a little baby blendiful. It's a little tiny thing, it's so small. Let's get in there. Little baby blendiful. I don't know about the blend of the big one for cream products. It's not awful, it's just kind of like a rough product. My skin tone change, or not my skin tone, but like my skin color kind of changes really frequently. Like with any exposure to sun or UV or whatever, it like deepens really quickly. But it's winter time in Canada, so my only exposure to the sun for the most part is just like walking to the subway station. And I'm super pale right now. And none of my foundations or my concealers fit me. <laughs> I look ridiculous. I'd be like, okay. Okay. So that did an okay job. A little baby blendful. Did an okay job of my concealer under my eyes. I also don't like setting under my eyes either. So this was another reason why I don't like putting concealer under my eyes. Because it just makes me look so old. And I'm expressive. And it just makes it so much worse. So I'm going to contour with my ABH foundation sticks. Stick foundation. Whatever. I have two colors. I have fawn. And I have mink. Mink is a little too dark. Fawn is a little too light. So I'm just going to kind of mix them together on the back of my hand. Holy jeez, I don't know what the hell they're digging for. They got some machine and they're... Oh, you can hear it. I'm sorry. Okay, so I've mixed those two together and I'm just going to go in with my blendful and try and pick them all up off the back of my hand and go on in. And here's, here's hoping. I didn't do that too high. Oh, I feel like Elvira. You got this. I got this. It's fine. So I have been using the Blendiful like this lately and I typically don't even contour all that much. Like I'll just use my bronzer as my contour and that's good enough for me. I actually kind of like it. I kind of want to, I want to use more cream products, but application is kind of difficult, right? Like I find that if I try and go in using a brush after I've already put on foundation, it tends to lift up with the foundation. I don't understand how people will avoid that. But this, this is an excellent, this is an excellent option. So I have maturing skin, but I also have greasy skin. So like, am I supposed to use more cream con products or am I supposed to just keep on skipping the cream products because I'm so greasy? Ooh, that one's a little dark. It got a little broad too. Okay, so I'm just gonna flip it over to a fresh side. I don't think they're even, but whatever. I'll flip it back over again and go back in on my hand and pick up some of the rest of that and go in my temples. Okay, I like that effect. It's looking natural. To me, at least. Should I do my nose? Maybe I should use a little blendiful, the baby blendiful. <clears throat> I'll see if I can pick some remainder off my hand. <laughs> I feel like I just like 
Made my nose look crooked. Making my nose pores look worse. Oh well, that's okay. Going back in and buffing afterwards in my creases really did help with the creasing though. I don't have any cream blush. I do have a cream highlighter from Fenty. So this is the matchsticks in the color Trippin. So I'm just gonna put the Fenty on my arm right there. I'm gonna pick that up and go on my highlights there. Okay, so in all fairness, I find the matchsticks are kind of, they don't pick up all that well. And I tend to steer away from the matchsticks entirely for the most part. So, I mean, this isn't really showing up all that well. Ooh, I got a lot there. So for applying the Fenty matchstick, the Trippin' matchstick there, I don't know, but it's there, I guess. The, a lot of color was left on my arm and I was unable to pick it up. And that, again, could also just be the matchstick. I think all of my cream products are down. Okay, so let's set with the... Blendiful. I typically have not been setting with the Blendiful. I'm going to use the NYX Mineral Setting Powder. It's one of my go-tos. I like it. It's cheap. Maybe I'll just bake my cheeks? Yeah, how about that? We'll just bake our cheeks with Laura Mercier and set the rest of my face. Okay, so I guess I'll just go... Oh, look, I picked it up so nice. I don't want to put it on my nose because it's got my... Okay, so when the pores are filled up like that, don't bake it. Because that makes the pores look even worse. <laughs> so they're not like the worst I've ever seen at this point. But I don't want to make them worse. So I'm just going to avoid doing that. So it picks up powder really, really nicely. I'm going to give it that. I can't, uh, I can't complain about that at all. I will go ahead and set the rest of my face with that NYX setting powder though. Okay, I'm just going to brush that off. So I'm going to put some blush. I'm going to put a little bronzer on as well, too. So I want to use Hourglass. This is in the diffused heat. So uh, let's use the baby blendiful, I guess. A little baby blendiful in there and swallow. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so tap it somehow. Maybe we can just, like, flick it. Oh, my goodness. So I'm swirling, maybe? Maybe not so much. What a little wonderful for you. Uh, unqualified operator. I think that was my fault. I don't think that's the right tool for that. But if you're going to make a mistake, go all the way. So actually a complaint that I have been having with this Sourglass blush is that it doesn't show up until it's, you know, gotten to this like point. And it's like super pink and I don't like it. But this really brought that pigment out real quick. In kind of an unnatural way, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's not my jam. I'm just going to tone it down a little tiny bit with the big one that we've set with. I want to try some more of those uh, hourglass ambient lights, but in different colors. Because I, mm, I don't really like diffused heat. I thought I would, but I don't. It's just too pink. Okay. Doesn't so bad, though. I'm going to bronze with my pretty bulgur. Pretty bulgur? Pretty Vulgar Bronze Beast Sunkissed Snitch. Should I use the Blendiful Baby one again or should I actually use like the big Blendiful? I think I'm going to use the big Blendiful for this. Just yet. Flick, right? Flick, flick, flick. I am terrified that this is going to be like, wait, ooh, good thing we started up there. See, I intentionally picked the flop side of my hair so I can hide that. Wow, look how dark that was. Holy shoot balls. Wow, that was uh, that was a little intense. Or oh, don't rub it in so much. I definitely probably ran. Mm, cat, cat hair. Mm, I definitely rubbed that in a little too much into the product itself. Like I just picked up too much product, I think. So you gotta be really careful if you're dipping it in for that. I actually don't mind this. So far, my pores actually look really good. We've uh, we've managed to avoid most of the most of the issues that I was complaining that I could run into with the Blendiful, which is primarily just like filled in pores and just poor texture. Um, so that was an issue that I came across with the Blendiful. That's something that I come across with most tools that aren't a silicone sponge that's slightly wet already. 
that's just the nature of my skin, I guess. And it's also the nature of like my abilities too, right? I, I enjoyed applying all of this makeup. The thing is though, I feel unblended. And like, that's probably me. That's my learning curve that I gotta figure out, but I feel pretty unblended. And I feel like if I just keep trying to blend with the Blendiful, I'm gonna start removing foundation. And that's a problem. <laughs> I don't like the way my nose looks. I'm gonna set my face super quick with this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I don't know if this is really a setting spray so much as just like a hydrating spray, but I really like it. And it kind of like brings life back to my skin after I've put a whole bunch of powder on, which is kind of the case here. Like my under eyes are looking whack. Okay, my face is done. Let's talk about it though. So the Blendiful, Worked. I mean, you know what? I can't, uh, give me a second. I'm setting spray on my eyelid. I can't actually complain that the Blendiful didn't work for my oily, large poured and maturing skin. It probably isn't my favorite for every foundation. So I used the, the Too Faced Born This Way foundation today. I don't know if that would be my favorite foundation for this. I think um, Dewier foundations might be a little bit nicer for this. Extra matte foundations. I don't know. I don't know if uh, I like the finish with the Blendiful on my skin. Mind you, immediately after I do my makeup, I usually don't like it. And then after like an hour and a half later, once my oils actually start to come out a little tiny bit, I actually like my makeup. And then it's all downhill from there. But... That's besides the point. The large Blendiful, I'm about that. The large one, we can do a lot of stuff with that. You can add, you can do your contour, you know, you can do all your bronzing, you can do your blush, I suppose. It was, it was novel. Do you need it? No, 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 no. No, I'm sorry. There's uh, other tools work just fine. Like the tools that you already have work just fine. But if you want to do it all tool and you don't want to have to mess around with other tools, the Blendiful is perfectly fine. The large Blendiful, I would highly recommend that. It would be cool if they, she would sell just the Blendiful. I don't know if she'll ever do that, but I don't know. Um, Baby Blendiful. This was the one that I was most excited about. I actually bought the whole Blendiful package with the hope that I could use this as a reusable oil blotter. Didn't work so great for that. I used it to put my concealer on underneath my eye. Actually, it worked all right, I suppose. It was just kind of like rough and big and bulky. So I don't know if that's necessarily better than a brush or your finger or your blender or whatever. I guess it's bigger or it's smaller than my blender. So it got in a little bit better than that. So I mean, like, I don't not recommend this or anything. I just don't have a lot of uses for that. I did put my blush on with it. I don't know, mm, not so much. It was very intense and it was very broad and it was just hard to keep it centered. Is it worth? Canadian $37? I don't know. Like, honestly, it's a novelty. It really is. It's a novelty. Would I replace it once it craps out? No. No. That's way too expensive to get it up here. It took a long time to get here too. If she's selling it in Sephora or something, I'd consider it and it's cheaper. You know, like if it's like $25. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Thank you very much for joining me for my review of the Tati Blendiful and the Baby Blendiful. Um, and I hope to see you very, very soon in another video. Super soon from now. Okay, bye.